previously on Live to Give Back to Reality. Determined to find the idol, Renzo, Brett, Karen, and Kim went on a hectic search at the merge camp. It was all sticks on deck, and while Karen found the idol, she debated whether it was an idol for the group or an idol for herself. After their messy tribal council, Ryan W., Noah, Ryan C., and Chapman talked it out. Chapman threw Ryan C. under the bus. This looks good on you and this looks horrible for me. But the damage was already done. Ryan C. confessed to everything, yet Noah was still lost. Marquise finally back from exile, reconvened with his allies to make sense of the chaotic Karen vote. The lines were clear, Chapman and Ryan C. versus Marquise, Noah, and Ryan W. Karen revealed to Chapman that Marquise had the Chaska idol, while Chapman revealed Ryan C.'s idol to the group. Kim floated between her new alliance and the old Chaska group, searching for the best outcome for herself. Brett looked to temporarily repair bonds between his old Adina alliance to further all their games. It was a chance for Renzo to finally gain some control as he worked with Kim and Brett to keep the division and chaos brewing in the Merge tribe. At Tribal Council, the chaos continued as the players scrambled to secure a plan. Ryan C. played his idol out of fear. Chapman's handshake once again meant nothing as he voted for Noah again, with Karen, Kim, Brett, and Renzo to break up the Chaska trio. Once the most powerful group in the game, how will Marquise and Ryan W. move forward? Eight are left. Who will be voted out tonight? That tribal was disturbing, to say the least. We had a foolproof plan, and Chapman would have went home. Kim, Renzo, and Brett ended up voting for Noah, and Noah goes home, which I'm literally so mad about. I can't do everything. I come up with a plan. It was set in stone. All you had to do was execute it. All y'all had to do was execute it. Good to talk. You are trying. Idle play. Nice idle play. Yeah, good job. Good job, everyone on the bamboozle. Nice play. So coming back from the last tribal council, I'm not feeling great. Um, I knew I'd be safe because I, I knew that I had the idol that I would play. Um, and the tribal council, I mean, you all saw it. It was it was something. It was a sight to behold. You know, I wasn't privy to the conversations. Take a moment to like smile and like breathe for a second. <laughs> Does anyone want to talk? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's shout. Kim, I protected her when her name was out there. Brett, I made sure that Sarah went home and he did not. They all owe me a lot and now they're taking a step back and like questioning my loyalty. My work now is to make them all feel really shitty, but at the same time, how I don't feel like I can trust them. Yes. I think that I've really got to pee. Mm. I should have stopped the bathroom. Sure. But I'll sit down, okay. cross my legs, and look like a lady. Uh, <clears throat> um, so what do I think? I'm so excited because the potato chip alliance happened. I just explained it away. I know Marquis is going to be pissed. But right now, I think that kind of leaves him with Ryan W. And that's it. So either... He can pick me back up, or he can go away. Perfect. I think that I went to my key directly before we went to tribal, and I asked him point blank, <coughs> who else has an idol? He didn't say anything. He told me that he thought there was a possibility Ryan had two of them. Well, that seal is fate. 
Uh-huh. I said that's the old thing. Exactly. And exactly. I, um, we successfully blindsided Noah, and uh, in relation, we blindsided Ryan W, and we blindsided Marquise. So. I think very successful for the Potato Chip Alliance. Um, we're feeling pretty good about this. Here's the thing, I have no problem, no problem mm -hmm. with throwing a vote on them because of what happened. Mm -hmm. Take the Potato Chip Alliance to four, to final four. And I, nothing makes me happier than underdogs. Nothing makes me happier than women in a game having an opportunity to actually play and prove themselves. If we could be two of the final four, my life is complete. I'm happy. No, no, oh. no, no. It's like I was telling you. It's basically. I just. I just basically want to know what the hell happened. Like in general, because this. This is my idea and what I was worried about from the get go. Yeah. Like yesterday or the day before, yeah. is that was there always a green alliance? Uh, I mean, before we swapped. At this point, just considering it, I'm on my own. I uh, can't trust anybody, what anybody says. I mean, may, may, I mean, I think I can trust Marquise because from what I what just witnessed, we were on the same page, but clearly everyone else involved was uh, was not. Um, okay. It's not necessarily a yellow thing. This vote, I, I was mad at Ryan C. I didn't want to vote Ryan C. And I actually, you're going to be mad. I shook Noah's hand and I shook Marquise's hand and told him I wasn't going to vote for them. And I walked away. And as soon as I walked away, Marquise and Noah both went and threw my name out. I got my payback, but I'm looking for my paycheck. I'm back on track now. I got exactly what I wanted. I got no out of this game, so the bridge that I burnt is gone now, and I flushed Ryan C's idol. So that went flawlessly. As much as I would love to cause chaos, um, you know, I have to keep my charity in mind and you know keep a straight head. Yeah, um, I was supposed to be in some sort of split vote, so initially it was Ryan C, and then as soon as that information was heard, it was over for now. No, you can't get down. But once again, you've done nothing wrong. Yeah, no, dude, so, I no, I know, know, I know. Like, I don't like I, the way the way I look at it is because like I don't know how everybody else looks at it. Just the way I'm looking at it is like, all right, like it was kind of the vibe. Yeah. I was already hanging out with those guys anyway. So yeah. like, people don't see that. Like, basically, if the whole thing between Ryan and Chapman and us was just straight up mischief and everybody else knew what was going on i mean as far as i'm concerned no holes barred cutthroat we're, we're going for it the whole time um yeah i'm just gonna play to my strengths and if we're in a physical challenge it's gonna get heated minnetonka come on in Final eight, welcome to your next community challenge. First things first, Karen, can I have back the necklace? This is so much easier to take off of. Community is back up for grabs. For this challenge, you will be given three pegs, and you will balance blocks in between those pegs. Over time, you will add more blocks. The last person standing without dropping their blocks will win individual immunity. And this challenge, this challenge is very important and will be one of our biggest challenges of the season because the first person to drop a block in this challenge will be unable to have immunity in the next round. All right, I will give you guys 10 seconds to get your pile in the air. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And this game is live. Everyone's straight. Everyone's arms are not touching the blocks. Everyone looking pretty good right now. Five, four, three, two, one, drop. We will now add a fourth block. All right, I'm gonna count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Marquise drops, first out of this challenge. Renzo drops, and we are down to six. All right. Kim drops, a little over a minute has gone by. Brett drops, out of this challenge.
Ryan C drops out of this challenge. This is four immunity and a one in seven shot at winning this game. This is a lot of money for charity, so I don't care how long we go. We can go till tomorrow morning, or we could go for five seconds. Chapman dropped at the same time. Ryan W wins individual immunity. Wow. I did not expect that. Good job, you guys. That was insane. You guys lasted way longer than any of us did. All right, first things first. Ryan W, congratulations. I'm gonna take your backpack off. Congratulations on immunity. Heroes versus villains. Put it on me or I mean, whatever, I'll put it on. There you go. Perfect, you're safe at Tribal. All right, there's a twist. As mentioned before the challenge, the player that dropped out of the challenge first is unable to win the next immunity. That means Marquise, you are unable to get immunity at the next round. Everyone else, you'll be competing in our first ever Live to Give Hitman twist. Every player besides Ryan W will have their name on a chip. Then every player besides Marquise will randomly draw a chip. The player's name that you draw for this twist is the person that you should try to eliminate from this game this round. Because if your target is eliminated at the next Tribal Council, you will be safe from elimination in the next round in this game. Long story short, if you're able to get that person voted out at this round, you will win immunity for the next round. Coming off the immunity challenge and winning, that was, uh, I mean, that, that was my number one goal after the last uh, Tribal Council for sure, just because I mean, so much is up in the air right now that I don't even know like I'm basically just depending on me right now. I was like, if I got a chance to win it, I'm just not going to lose it. So literally just thinking about the next one, um, how I can keep the momentum going, is really it. Like when I said I'm standing on like no ground, it's literally like no ground. That's why like my strategy is like, all right, I'm just going to win challenges and see what's up. But like, I'm, li I'm literally in no good standing with anyone. So coming off the immunity challenge and winning, that was my number one goal after the last uh, travel council for sure, just because like, I'm basically just depending on me right now. So I was like, if I got a chance to win it, I'm just not gonna lose it. So I um, was able to do it, which was awesome. Karen. I mean, I can do it. I can do it. It's a lot of people. How do you feel about doing your breath? I mean, I'd be fine with it. I mean, put your hand if you put your hand if you don't like breath. Wait, this is not the best time to do it. Yeah, so I think we do it now. The votes are already complicated enough to try and figure out, and now there's a whole new twist implemented called the Hitman Twist. So each of us had to draw a name of one of the players that is vulnerable. Random. And the name that you draw is now your Hitman. So your goal is to get that person out. Whoever's name you draw, that is who you want to get out of this game, because then you have immunity at the next Tribal Council. I found this in the fireplace. <gasps> I'm so excited. This is, oh my god, this is my... <sighs> I've never found anything. Congratulations, you have found a Chad Holland Immunity Idol. This immunity, hidden immunity idol will work differently than most. When you play this idol, it will automatically be played on the person that received the most votes rather than a specific person in the game. It must be used after the votes have been submitted but before they have been revealed. Once used, the hidden immunity idol will nullify any votes cast for the person with the most votes. Choose wisely what you do with this idol because it could hurt or help your game. This is big. Somebody, I mean, because if, if you're playing idol, I just don't want to waste for you, my so idol it, because I think it would make mm -hmm. me want to play mine. I don't want to waste it. And if you, mm -hmm. you don't I'm my keys. Hmm? My keys. Yeah, I'll be willing to do it if you eliminate my keys. Hmm? If you eliminate my keys, give me the highest vote, 
but let's make Marquis the second highest. Okay, he has okay so I'm going to Marquis. Wait, no, wait. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. okay. We're, we're going to vote him, so he has oh, the I most see. votes, okay. then he's going to be safe. If I were to describe how I'm feeling headed into uh, the next tribal, right now in one word, I would have to say terrified. Um, because this is the one time I feel like I haven't been in control and don't know where things are going. And I feel like I have so much more game to play, and if I end up going home, it's going to be really hard for me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you just, like, I'm not, I see, like, kind of apathetic about it, but it's literally because I just don't care. Like, I know, right. in all honesty. So, so you, like, you will work on it? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Um, it's fine, but, like, yeah. yeah. I just don't, I just don't have a strong opinion about it. Oh, that's yeah. You know, Brett is one of the OG Mint crew, but Brett has been away from me um, for a couple of different tribe swaps. And you know, when when you start to have that separation with the people that you trust, you start to wonder what other trust are they getting from what other people, and what are they planning. But I just don't know going down the home stretch how reliable of a vote he will be. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try. I'm, okay. I'm thinking it's been. Yes. 100%. Same. Yes. 100%. I'm thinking of Kim. Okay. So, is that all you wanted? Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> I mean, you're, 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 you're direct when you're delirious and, and hungry. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the advantage, but me using this advantage, there is a big likelihood that I'm going home. I've had your back and I've shown you loyalty. I haven't just said, oh, I'm gonna have your back. Because you wanna know what? When we went to Mint, everyone wanted to vote you because as soon as we got there, you started spilling all of Pink's tea. You're like, this one happened, that one happened, and they're like, oh, we can't trust him. I was like, Renzo is loyal as <laughs> Like, he's going to stick beside us no matter what. We need to do Sarah over him. She's a threat. Renzo is gonna be loyal to us. I'm feeling awful. I am out of words. I was caught in lies. I know I lied. I'm not good at lying. It wasn't what I wanted to do to begin with. It wasn't my game plan. So who do you, who do you want me to vote? Who do you want to vote? Who were you guys talking about over here when you guys were like, oh, Marquis is going to get a minute? Um, was Kim. it me? It's Kim. Kim was there. Oh. <laughs> um, so it's me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was you. So you guys have the votes to get rid of me? No, no, I, I don't. Don't, just don't lie. Like, I would appreciate if you tell me so I have a chance to I at least scramble. Betraying people is... Yes. It's really not my thing. Especially people who I trust and give their word to me. Okay, well, I appreciate you telling me that. It's me. Um... I hate that you, you lied to me a lot. I did. And I like legit had your back, so I don't even know where that came from. I mean, I guess I appreciate, I can say I appreciate your honesty because like it was just like me catching you in the lies, so. I am having a fantastic time with this game. Despite being horribly uncomfortable in all this and you know, coming in with a bum knee and getting bit by a spider, I've pushed myself in something that I'm very uncomfortable with. Um, out here in the wilderness, in the woods. We're voting Renzo. Okay. Renzo will vote Marquis. Okay. Renzo plays power, which yeah. will save himself as the most vote getter. Okay. Which means one vote on Marquis. Whether it's one or two, Marquis will go. Can I? Okay. I'm, I'm really scared you know, that there. It's hard for me to lie to Marquis. Is just, I, I told him I'm targeting him, but he doesn't know the advantage. Oh, uh, okay. Well, and I and I literally just told him that I'm voting you. I'm sorry. Okay, just in case someone's listening in, I told him I'm voting you. So what do we do now? Okay, well, we've got about I three minutes, him. and y'all are switching the plan. Okay, tell me why did you tell him? Mm -hmm. I I don't know. I was just panicking. He was he was. My charity is Wounded Warriors Project. And it's a fantastic project that is there for the physical and the mental health of veterans who have been at war suffering PTSD. That's the biggest thing that they work on is PTSD. This is an opportunity to give help to those who really do need it. I, I, I messed up. Okay. Do okay. you have people voting you? Uh, here's my thing. 
is that I've gotten reassurances that they're not. But the fact that they pulled you into a conversation and not me. We're almost done. Like, we're so close. My charity, the AL Association, like, they are, like, my number one. Right now, I have to stick with them. And I'm totally, like, learned all this from Angie from season five. I almost feel like I'm trying to play like her. Like, I'm trying to, like, listen to my heart and that's my what is my alliance like that they're, they're the ones I want to get to the end for and I think about my aunts like her having to go through this is just sucks and like really hit our family so hard like right like a month before she got diagnosed my grandma got COVID and was like hospitalized for weeks and I feel like she was this close to dying and like I'm so so fortunate she's still with us today though like but also around the same time, like my, my cousin was in a car crash and died, and it's just like one thing after another hit our family. Like it was brutal. Like and so, just whatever I can do to like, like help and just make support my whole family, support my aunt, and just support ALS in general. Yeah, I just have to do what I have to do. Renzo just came up in hilarious way. He's like, who are, who are you thinking of? I'm thinking of Kim. He's like. I am also thinking of Kim. Oh, there's no way. I, I don't believe it either. Yeah. And he, and he said 100%. I said, I am 100% thinking of Kim. And the way I'm rationalizing this lie is that I was thinking of Kim, but not to vote for Going into this next tribal, it's going to let me know whether or not I've managed to successfully repair some of the relationships and the trust that I breached. If I survive this tribal, uh, I'll feel pretty confident that I gained enough trust to move forward um, with kind of the original game plan of giving, you know, us three mint to the final. So, when did you find it? It was right before the last challenge, the one that I won. Oh. Everything's coming up alone. It's a good feeling, right? It is. I, yeah. I was like, like yes, yeah, it feels you. fun to find one. I was yeah, like, it, 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 yeah. Heart skips a beat. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. It's not good for you. I am literally have no idea where my boat is going. It's so hard to know who to trust. I just, I, I am kind of stuck between these four. I really do feel like it's Marquise, Ryan C, Chapman, and Ryan W, and then it's the Potato Chip Alliance. So it's like, I feel like I won't decide to ride a tribal because like this boat is huge for me. Like this is gonna pivot my game and like what direction is like I'm going in. Tonka, come on in. I'll now bring in the members of our jury. Tyann, Chad, a sponsor, Kelly, Steve, smiling, Corinne, and Noah voted out at the last tribal council. Oh, you had coffee this morning, Kim. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's start, just, let's start with Tribal. You guys hadn't even sat down yet, and I got, I think, one, two, about five looks at me with different expressions. Renzo, I saw yours first. What's the vibe? I'm 90% sure I'm going home. Based off how the conversation went. Um, I'm not good at lying, and I was caught lying. Um, I've been a straight. I'm not good, but like I always tell people when you play games like this, you play with your strength. Lying, deceiving is not mine. Yeah. <laughs> I will gladly break all of this down for you. All right, I'm ready, Marquis. Can I let me start with last try? Okay, let's go. We had a plan. Yep. The plan was. The plan was to split the vote between two people. Who are the two people? The two people were Chapman and Ryan. Okay, Ryan. C. C. Yes. Somehow in the mix-up of that live tribal, people were convinced within 30 seconds that I was not trustworthy because Marquise has an idol. This rumor, Marquise has an idol and within 30 seconds the people I thought I could trust changed their mind and voted out someone that I really trusted. So I'm bamboozled. I get back to tribal and I'm like, what even happened? And I'm getting accused of having an idol, having a final two, having a final three. And I'm like, first of all, I don't have an idol. If I did, I would have used it last tribe one because I was convinced that the mint team was going to be voting me out. Two, I would have used it on Noah. 
if I, so I, I didn't have an idol. I didn't. So the whole topic of like, oh, you have a final two, you have a final three. If everyone here doesn't have someone that they're close to, two or three people, if you say you don't have two or three people you're close to, you're lying. I go up to a group of Kim, Renzo, and Brett. These are the ones that flip. They're telling me all about it, this, that, and the third. After this last challenge, same three people. I try to go over to that group and I'm told, no, can we have a minute? Oh. Red flag. So I'm going around talking to other people. Eventually I pull Renzo to the side and I say, he has me for his hitman twist. I'm like, are you gunning for me? He says, no. I say, who were you guys talking about when you asked me to walk away? He goes, we were talking about Kim. And I say, Kim was in that group. <laughs> who were you talking about? Purely embedded lying, I know. <laughs> what I observed was Kim, Brett, and Renzo in a conversation. Kim, what does it feel like hearing your name? And I guess, do you want to dissect that a little bit more? Absolutely, 100%. I was in a conversation with them. Marquis did come up. Um, I'm sorry, it's Marquise. Marquise. With the ass. He did come up, and um, I did not, I was not the one who said no, not right now. Who said um, that? Um, that was Brett. But yes, Brett. 100% that did happen. I thought I was talking about um, I did talk to Marquise about this, and I, I owned it. I owned exactly why I voted for no. But right? when would I have lied to you, bro? Is my question. That's After that's true. you lied to me and switched your vote, right? Because you didn't ask me when we were talking about Ryan having two idols if I had an idol. No, I said I he said, might possibly. I said. So you your know, whole argument no. is that I didn't come forward and tell you. No, I said, do you know anybody else? If you had told me, I, Kim, I do have an idol. Awesome. Terrific. Then I know. If I didn't tell you, that doesn't mean I'm lying to you, though. That's the true. The point that I'm trying to make. That's true. That's absolutely 100% true. But, but when this all happened, I said, I'm going to know if Marquise is telling me the truth or not, because if he's lying to me, he's going to play this idol. It's just the lying right? word that's like really bothering me, because I did not lie to you. No, you didn't. If I withheld information, that is not lying. So well, it's I, a mission you of did, truth. You, that's but not lying. I'm not saying, I'm not even saying you omitted any truth. So this, this situation is, is interesting because we've, we've talked so much about this little three conversation. What hasn't been talked about yet is Brett literally shooing you away from it. Brett, why would, why would you shoo someone away from a conversation? I guess that's my question. So I understand that in fast paced games like this, sometimes you just need an extra couple <laughs> minutes or seconds to talk to someone. So typically how I have played is sometimes if I need an extra minute, I'll ask for an extra minute. And uh, the very next group Marquise was actually in, I walked up and said, can I join you? And they said 30 seconds. So I waited. So I'm just I did that on to... purpose to be petty. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Cha Chapin was the one who said 30 seconds, I'm pretty sure. I put but... my hand up though. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm saying that you can't be like, Brett did this when you did the exact same thing. I did it to be petty. Like, I, I was literally doing that. You're proving my point funny. here, though. Renzo, yes? I'm the one who's likely to go home tonight, so can I talk? Are you, or do you have the numbers to get me out? I don't. Why would someone I... has a secret advantage, right, that you can't reveal. I just... I you, lie <laughs> you lied again! What's Renzo. going on right now? What? Where did the secret advantage come from? Ask Renzo. It's a lie. That's a bad <laughs> lie. Okay, let's be honest. We all lie in this game. I thought you were a bad liar. I've That's been as I'm honest as I can in this game, life. and I'm well, exposing lying. Like, I'm just begging you. Does anybody want to work with me right now? I'll, I'll have a bitch. Can I talk one-to-one? -one? Is that even a thing? I mean, you're allowed to walk up, and I guess someone's allowed to say no if they want. All right. Listen to me. I'm like, begging, please. What just took place? In this, like I, he leaned over. I was most pissed off, Chad, and I was like, "Why are you so like?" I'm voting for Ben. Okay. okay. Do you know? Wait, wait, wait. Do you know he has an idol here, and it only looks like he gets the most votes. 
if he gets the least amount of votes, it's null and void. Do you guys want to just get to a vote? All right. All right. Well, then we will. We're going to get to a vote. Ryan C., you're up first. Well, you just saw all that. I have no idea what's happening right now. First off, there's a rumor that there's like battles or something. I hated everything that happened. I cannot vote for myself. Um, I hope that this strategy worked. If I had more time, it would have it would have been less messier. I am putting all my trust in Chapman right now and hoping that he's keeping his word. Looks like this could go in my favor, or they could all be really good actors and blindside me right now, and that whole fight was fake, but we'll find out. I'll go tie the votes. All right, so if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Brandon, I don't have an idol, but I have this. This is the Chad Holland Memorial Hidden Immunity Idol. Um, although obviously this game is kind of going really crazy, which we expected, and that's good. I just want to honor uh, Chad Holland. This was his property. His wife, Izzy, also graciously, um, after he passed away last year, right before our event, um, let us have it here and has graciously welcomed us again um, back. So I just wanted to honor him while, um, obviously, Renzo played this at the same time. So, yes. This is a special hidden immunity idol, which means the person, no matter what, with the highest votes will have them negated at this tribal. And the person with the second highest votes will actually go home. Mark, this is getting a little too crazy for me. This did not pan out how I thought it would, so. You throw out every, yeah, you must have put that in there so they oh, couldn't yeah. find it. This is too much, bro. <laughs> I don't feel like going home this round. I don't know how this is gonna shape up. So, just a little security here. And let me preface this by saying, withholding information is not lying. First of all, I don't have an idol. If I did, I would have used it last try one, because I was convinced that the Mint team was going to be voting me out. All right, this is the Imagine Theater of Rogers Hidden Immunity Idol. Any votes cast for Marquise at this tribal will not count. So, even if he has the second highest, those will also be negated. Does everyone understand? All right, I will read the votes. First vote. Marquise does not count. Ryan C, that's one vote Ryan C. Renzo, that's one vote Renzo, one vote Ryan C. Dylan, 
Brett. That's one vote Ryan C, one vote Renzo, one vote Brett. Renzo, that's two votes Renzo, one vote Ryan C, one vote Brett. Brett, we're tied. Two votes Brett, two votes Renzo, one vote Ryan C, two votes left. Renzo, that's three votes Renzo, two votes Brett, one vote Ryan C, one vote left. Brett, we have a tie. So, how this will work. Per Renzo's hidden immunity idol, Renzo and Brett, you will go to rocks to determine who was actually the second highest vote getter. If you draw the black rock, you are the top vote getter. If you do not, you are out of this game. So Renzo or Brett, you will be leaving. I will go grab the rocks and be right back. Renzo, grab this one. If you draw the black rock, you have the highest votes, so you're safe. If you do not have the black rock, you're going home. I just, I think it's very fitting. Chad wanted chaos here, and I think he, uh, I think he got some of it. All right, so when I say reveal, I need you to have both your palms out. Black rock stays, clear rock goes. Three, two, one, reveal. Renzo, you drew the clear rock. You are voted out of this game. Come grab me your torch. Renzo, try the spoke in. It's time for you to go. Good job, everybody. Please continue the chaos. <laughs> I don't even need to finish it. I think Renzo finished it himself. Grab your stuff, head back to camp. Just kidding, sit back down. We are at the Hitman Twist. Renzo, come on in. Renzo becomes the seventh member of our jury after a self-idol play. After Rocks. That's right, after Rocks, Renzo. <laughs> You're right there. You're right. All right, are you good? All right, so we will just get right into this next round, which is the Hitman Twist. First things first, Ryan, can I have the immunity necklace back? Perfect. All right, so here is the immunity necklace, which is going to the Hitman. The person who had Renzo, who is immune at this vote, is Karen. Karen, immunity is yours. <laughs> Congratulations. Please have a seat. All right. So, how this will work. We are going to go into an immediate vote. Because I didn't okay. Okay. Was, uh, Who did we do? Or not, so I didn't know what to do. Um, but you were my hitman, so I figured I would just at least throw a vote on you. I get it. So, I did vote for you. I know. Last time to get Renzo is what I understand. And then now. I don't like all those cameras. <laughs> So you think Brett's yeah, you I think Brett's the best was best spell. That's the only reason I stayed for this game because that's if I voted for Renzo, he would have gotten safe and I would have gone home. So I apologize, but you did. I did hear you point at me and say my name. So okay. So what do you, you guys? heard clearly because I heard word of some idle shenanigans and I just trusted what I heard. There's exactly a minute left. No. I just I just admit I voted for Brett. I'm in for Brett. Yeah. No, I'm talking before. We can no. Okay. I'm so gonna this vote. is my hitman, so the whole time this is the person I was trying to get out. Okay. 
just to be blunt. I'm gonna vote for Marquise because I guess he was organizing against me, so I would appreciate it if I had some votes on. I've been loyal. That is true, I never organized against you. I was trying to get my vote Ryan C. just pointed at you and said you heard the name come out of your mouth. Is that not true? He said you heard idol pop out of his mouth. Yeah, I did say okay. idol. So I'm voting for you, we okay. want to be honest. Well, I'm voting for you then. And I'd appreciate people, I've been loyal. And the people who are sitting here, I haven't written your names down. Loyal to? I've been loyal to Kim, I've been loyal to Karen, I've been loyal to Ryan, C, and I've been loyal to Chapman. Were you loyal to me after I kept you safe when I moved over to Mint? I was loyal to you. Until the By organizing a vote against me? Right now, obviously, I mean, if we're going to talk about loyalty. All right, well, with that being said, um, we will get to the vote. Um, Ryan C, you're up. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm making amends that I'm not sure who I can trust anymore. There's a whole lot of other stuff. Apparently word leaked out. It's a weird thing. I still don't know what happened. I'm going to have to rewatch that on like half speed. And Lauren and I, uh, Karen and I, oh my God, so much lack of sleep for every little moment. Um, <laughs> one, it might be the wrong move and only time will tell. We meet again. And it all comes crumbling down. I'll go tie the votes. I'll read the votes. First vote. Brett. That's one vote, Brett. Marquise. That's one vote, Brett. One vote, Marquise. Brett, that's two votes, Brett. One vote, Marquise. Brett, that's three votes, Brett. One vote, Marquise. The next person voted off of Lifting Back to Reality and the eighth member of our jury. Brett, can you bring me your torch? If I had to go out, you know I was going to do it in dramatic fashion. I would so. expect nothing less. Brett, private spoken. Get out of here. Good morning. I feel like I barely need to speak at the end of the tribals anymore, so um, just, just go back. What do I think happened? I was afraid nobody would bring me to the end. I clearly had a good story to win the game. And I really am struggling at this point. Who would be willing to bring me to the end? Within this Live to Give experience, um, I've learned a lot and I, it wouldn't be enough to say that I've grown so much. I think I've grown exponentially um, by this experience and I feel like I really went in here with a lot of insecurities. Um, I exceeded my expectations for myself and I hope uh, for those people out there that are still trying to build their confidence. Um, look at me, I, I went in with a cast and sur miraculously survived so many tribal councils in this uh, game. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to be you, be confident, and I, I will keep trying to say that to myself. Um, I would like to thank all my friends who donated for the, this organization. Right now, I am feeling all sorts of different emotions. Um, I'm feeling happy, I'm glad I took the jump and decided to do this. Um, I think I really outdid my own expectations for myself, and I really do think um, you know, I was a couple steps away from, from the end and I think I was running the game up until now. So, um, you know, I'm feeling excited and grateful for that experience. I think I proved uh, a lot of things to myself about what I could do and what I did not always think I could do. Um, I've never been the most confident person in myself. Um, so, to, so to get to come out here and, and show people that I, could, that I could compete and that I could do it well um, meant a lot. Um, 
I was out here playing for my charity, the Kids in Need Foundation, um, and I'm really grateful that I'm able to get them a good chunk of change. Uh, I was also out here, um, I didn't tell this to anyone in the game, but I was, I was out here for my mom, and I almost didn't come out here. I almost didn't come out here because almost two weeks ago, before the game, um, my mom was diagnosed with cancer, and it's been killing me this whole time. Even though I know she's fine, but like she's probably doing fine right now, but just not to be able to check in with her and not be able to see how she's doing. And I care so much about her, and she's she's an educator, and she's one of the big reasons that I went into teaching, and one of the big reasons why. You know, the Kids in Need Foundation was my choice is because education is so important to me. My mom taught me that from a young age, and... You know, I was scared of the outdoors as I literally have never been camping before, and... I... You know... Again, I haven't been very confident in myself, but... My mom pushed me to come out here, and... The stuff I went through out here... You know, a lot of it was hard, but it's nothing compared to what she's going through. So, I pulled my strength from her, and I hope she'll be proud of the game I played. And um, I'm just going to be excited to get to talk to her tomorrow and, and see how she's doing. So, yeah, I, I think she'll be proud, and I hope, I hope she'll be proud. So, this is all for you, Mom. I hope, I hope you have fun watching, and... Um, you're the strongest person I know and we're gonna get through this.